one. Hey guys, what's up? I've got a really exciting video. I only have 10 minutes to do it and I uh, have a lot of information for you. So let's begin. First of all, take a moment to hit the thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Forgive me if I talk fast. I have a lot of information here. Okay. By the way, Crypto Mike is my name. Cryptocurrency is my game. All right, guys. Now, the perfect storm for Ripple XRP. I have a whole list for you guys, and we're going to go through it. First of all, and it's going to go, we're going to go quick. Like I said, bearable guy, one, two, three, must be an insider. I've been telling you guys this over and over. A lot of people have, and there's been a lot of ridicule. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now, this is Twitter. All right. Um, now, on his Twitter page, he, he actually has a brick behind his name. Uh, it has a, a couple um, hexa, hexa, hexagonal uh, uh, codes on it. Now, I, I can't see it on my PC version, but I can see it on my phone version. And I type them in. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long, but... Okay, I typed them into this. Guess what? What do they come out to? XRPLX. These are the numbers that he had on his page. He's had them for a while. XRPLX. Okay, so he knew that this was going to happen. NASDAQ adds brave, adds brave new coins, XRPLX, liquid index. Okay, the leading benchmark for U.S. technology equity trading and indexing, NASDAQ, will add brave new coins, XRP, liquid index to its data suite of indices, the NASDAQ Global Index Data Service. Okay, very, very worldwide, world renowned. Everyone knows who is in the trading world is able to see this. Okay. Um, a lot of money is able to see this, you guys. The XRPLX captures a comprehensive global sample of liquidity on the highest volume and quality exchanges. Okay, this is going to be the best way to find out what XRP is valued at. Okay, and in 30 second intraday pricing. Okay, so within 30 seconds, it's API. Okay. Ideal for settlements and accurate spot pricing. So they're going to be the most accurate form of the global average of what XRP is valued at. Okay. Now, so on my list, okay, NASDAQ as the XRPLX on May 1st. Okay. Now we look at BG123's calendar image that he posted six months ago, guys. Six months ago he posted this one and what was the big takeaway from this there was a lot of things in it that we looked at the big takeaway that everyone was excited about was the sun was right behind may may 1st what does that mean we've been waiting for may for something big <laughs> i mean we got the announcement even right before may that this was going to happen he is an insider, so he knows other things too. Not just this, you guys. He's been leading us in the right direction. Okay, guys, this is very, very exciting. And this makes me more bullish on XRP than ever before. Okay, because we are able to lend more credence to Bearable Guy, this cartoon bear, than ever before. Okay, we we he took a hard hit when he when he didn't correctly predict the five eight nine. Okay, I'll give you that. I let go of my belief in that. Now we can give credence to bearable guy once again. Okay, credence. Credence is the belief in or acceptance of something as true. Okay, we can trust him. We can be confident in him, and we can have reliance in him now. Okay, because this came true, what he's been telling us for over six months ago. He already knew, and he knew exactly what was going to happen, okay, because of this, the hexadonal to text, okay, he had the numbers, he, he, tell, he told us this was going to happen six months ago, okay, guys, this is very exciting, guys, all right, 
Now, the stock market, this is another reason. Okay, this is adds to the perfect storm for Ripple. And I'm talking quick. So, stock market, S&P 500 is in a triple top. It's in a huge bubble, 10 years long, highest it's ever been, all-time high. It's never been in a bubble this long before. Okay, what does that mean? Look at Okay, triple top, guys. Okay, last time it hit the all-time high, look at this big dip. It went below this support. It went below all the way here. Do you think it might might go down to what support? Like maybe this one or this support next time? I think maybe so. Or it might come down here. Or it might come down here, bounce up, and then bounce down far, far, far. You never know. Okay, guys? We're, <laughs> I, I think this is what's going on, okay? So also... All right, recession is near. And so we, when the stock market is in such a huge bubble and it starts, people start selling off, that means the money needs to go somewhere, okay? Now, because of something I explained down here, people aren't gonna wanna hold the US dollar because it is so inflationary, okay? The inflation rate is getting higher and higher on that, all right? Now, the recession is near, okay? Inverted yield curve, what does that mean? Okay, the inverted yield curve means on average, it only takes eight months for the market to top out after an inversion. Okay, that's the average. This happens often. This has happened like eight times before, I think. Okay, here we are again. Okay, every time it goes down, we have a recession. Every time it goes down, we have a recession. Now look how far down and look how long this has been. Okay. It's going to be a big ass recession, you guys. All right. There's another other factors, you know, um, to economic turmoil upcoming retail sales dropping. We've heard about that mortgage payments, auto payments. OK, here's one thing on uh, Fortune. OK, they go um, it's seven million people are behind on their auto payments. So I don't know why it's not loading. Um, so, oil prices are likely to rise due to the Iran sanction waivers being cut off by President Trump, which would inflate world currencies worldwide. Okay, there's eight nations that are being cut off from buying oil from Iran, which is going to rise the prices of oil, and in turn, it's going to inflate currencies. Okay, uh, let's see. Also, President Trump, if you haven't realized or haven't noticed, he's been and he is powerful. Trust me, he, he knows what he's doing. This is what he's wanting to do. He's been this is part of his plan. Quantitative easing. He's been constantly pressuring the Federal Reserve. He's backing them into a corner, guys, because regardless if they raise rates or drop rates, the whole world is affected. OK, doesn't matter what happens now. If they quantitative ease, if they print more money, that's what quantitative easing is, where they the central bank um, has permission to print more money. Okay, that means our dollar would be more inflationary, which means the buying power of our dollar would be less. Okay, and that means people will not want to hold the U.S. dollar. Okay. They will sell it, okay, and they will buy safer, less inflationary assets, okay? Now, I'll show you what happened in the last recession, okay? This is gold, you guys. 2000, okay, May 2006. All right, this is the start of the recession. It had the dip, okay? Dang it. Okay, had the dip, and then... What, what did people do? They sold their U.S. dollars into gold. They bought gold. Look at that rise right there. Parabolic rise, okay? Same thing that happened with silver. All right, you guys? So it's going to happen with XRP. All right, you know what? I'm, uh, it's, I'm approaching my recording limit, so I'm going to have to make this a part two video, guys. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. I tried. I'm going to have to make this part two. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like, subscribe, you guys, and go watch the second part of my video, please. And thank you. Love you.
See you in the next one.